some 600,000 cotton balls and 200,000 syringes. They're here and ready for use. But as yet, the federal government has not licensed a vaccine, and there are other problems that remain before any mass swine flu immunization program can begin in Dallas County. But the planning continues, and Dallas County Public Health Director Dr. Alan Fain points out that the investment in immunization should pay measurable dividends if it keeps influenza under control. And consider the facts. Last year we had Victoria A strain in our community. It was a pretty good amount of uh, populace that was involved in this, and we have every reason to believe that'll be back this year. Nothing to alarm people, just the the facts. The other thing is that we do know for sure the new swine flu is a major change in the organism. And if we look back at the last two epidemics that we had of any proportion, we lost 30,000 lives and one time some 50,000. We didn't do it on any other basis. And the cost of those people dying involved and some 50 million people were involved in being ill by those disease entities, the Asiatic and the Hong Kong. If further tests of the vaccine show it to be effective and safe, Older persons and the chronically ill should be able to get their shots by the end of July, with others getting their vaccine by September. Jim Ruddy, Eyewitness News, Dallas.